you're about to see the ultimate deck for high voltage. The easy button for shutting down your opponents. This game plan is all about getting priority. We do that with Ebony Maw, Medusa, Lizard, Swordmaster, and because we only have a single other odd cost card, he is just free power. Atuma, Crossbones, and Scar, who gets reduced because of those 10 cost cards. Hulkbuster can merge with Ebony Maw or Swordmaster to bring them up to 10 power to further discount your Scar. And with all that priority, here comes Big Bad Eliath, who we might be able to Eliath all three lanes with the help of Arnim Zola and Grandmaster. So there may be other substitutions. Finding a place for Hydra Bob sounds fantastic. I don't personally have them but I could see him easily fitting into this deck. If you don't have Grandmaster, decent substitutions are Absorbing Man and Enchantress, depending on what you're facing. Other than that, this is how the deck works. Okay, first up we have Rack Space 19-5. I have four energy on turn one, so I shall just get an Atuma down? Maybe? Yes. Get a Tuma down, no, not middle, because I have Medusa and Swordmaster. So I want to play Medusa middle and Swordmaster left. Because of the Atlantis bonus, I can further discount Scar potentially. It appears we might be going up against a Flood deck, or Zoo, with Kazar. I have Grandmaster, Zola... We're going Medusa middle, Swordmaster, and Lizard. This is where if you end up putting in Enchantress, of course, she could come to shine here. I may be looking at an Ultron coming down. It will depend. Okay, so the Ultron would come down middle, so I have priority. So it is just drawing... Okay, never mind. <laughs> they have filled middle. So let's see. Okay, the Chimichanga and the Eliath. And man, if I had left... Left open or... Probably right open. I could have Eliath and... Maybe I do that anyway? Like and subscribe. Here, here. And here? <laughs> I like this game mode because it is, it is low stress. Hey, we got most of their cards. Oh, we got a lot of their cards. And we actually won middle outright. And so there's nothing they can do because we have just... Oh, oh no, no, no. I won, I won middle. Calm down. <laughs> I panicked because I started losing left. And perfect. Right out the gate. Yes, I had to 50-50 it. But you see, I literally Eliath all three lanes. I Eliath left, <laughs> middle, and right, thanks to the last turn combo of Eliath and Arnim Zola. So that's why I say sometimes Grandmaster is optional, because Grandmaster also can only Eliath two lanes. Sometimes you want to Eliath on turn two, because then you can Zola on turn three, or Grandmaster at... at then Zola, it, it, it can get a little wild. So you're gonna have to see how the games go. But this is right out the gate. This is exactly how the deck is designed to execute. Shut down your opponent's game plan. And we, we nuked their mystique, which won us the game. Okay, next up we have Rui. Hmm. Do I play that? Oh, I guess I'll wait, just two energy. I could play the Ebony Maw because you can still get into the Ebony Maw lane without, or with Zola. Otto's Lab, there is 
the Elioth, but I do not have priority. So I can go Atuma Middle and Ebony Maw right. Okay. Do I have priority? Let's find out. I do. So they think that... Ooh. Nowhere. Do I... Oh, this is actually 9 power. Uh, so I could... Or I could just play it middle? Ugh, this is dicey. I can't play over... So the only way I can get over there is with a Zola. So I could do this and... No. No. Oh, this is... I don't have enough energy. Do I do this? have for me middle well nothing because you just cosmoed so that's that's nice is this a bot i think this is a bot i don't even know if i should in let's see let's do some investigating no they could just be a low collection level player the bots typically are matched that's another thing i've noticed with this mode i'm, I'm really getting matched up with uh collection level players all across the board but that is why shang chi is here we were able to take out the scarlet spider before they do anything else so they'd have to kind of spread out their power okay elegant skillet drawing cards is good i have sword master i suppose let me leave a lane open for the Eliath. And they have energy. Oh. So I'm... I'm just gonna Eliath now. Eliath left. People like to play into the revealed locations. Oh. Okay. So this is just going to be a 50-50. What did they steal from me? Scar. What is this? Okay, decent collection level player. Uh, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I, I am confused. No, and go here. I mean, I guess I don't need crossbones. I don't know. I don't know what's happening this game. You know, I should have played something here for the Sean. Shang-Chi. So I should have played at least four powers. So that probably have should have been where my Lizard or Ebony Maul went. Yuck. We played for the wrong lane. Uh oh. <laughs> I love this mode. I love this game mode. It's very low stress. You you see some wacky decks. Clearly, I should have saved the Eliath. The, the thing is, I, I am going on such limited testing time, so I haven't quite learned how to pilot this deck. <laughs> so this is going to be a good case, even though I'm still winning, clearly. It's a good case for you all to learn from some of these mistakes. Like, I didn't have Grandmaster or Zola in hand. So because of that, I shouldn't have played Eliath early. If I had one of those two cards in hand, then yes, I should have played Eliath early because then I could have moved him to wherever in the on the board. And clearly holding him would have just completely killed all of their game plans. So, 
so yeah, going forward, if I don't have Grandmaster or Eliath in hand, or Zola in hand, I want to hold on to Eliath. Okay, next up we have Thanatos. The Raft. Can I try really hard for the Raft? I might be able to. Lizard? Well, you can't play anything below Tim there. Can I... I can fill. If I do this... This and this? And I don't discard anything. And this lane almost definitely isn't going to get filled to debuff Lizard. Because of a Tuma. Can I snap? <laughs> we get a Swordmaster middle, so that's a 12 power middle. I may just leave it that way. And then I could play my zero cost Raft card. Okay. Knowledge is power. They know I have a Spectrum. So we do go over the top. The Super Scroll gets debuffed if I can fill that. Uh, because of a tomb, I actually can't fill. Oh, I can't fill it. Okay. So what do I want to do here? I can go here. Here. I can't play Crossbones. I can only play Atuma here. And then I can actually play Crossbones here to get even more power. And then Spectrum here. The, this is why Hulkbuster's in the deck as well. It protects... Does that not matter? Oh, look at this. Did they get me? <laughs> they did not, but they tried. Clearly, I wasn't ever going to draw a Lyoth. My original game plan would have worked anyway, and it would have been 2 plus 2 power here because of the spectrum. They had, I respect the effort, They they had, that was a very strong attempt. But we were able to fill the Raft card. Atuma kind of hurts them, clearly. They had no other big power cards. So maybe I should have just recognized that and played Spectrum maybe middle because the Lizard was going to get buffed. But I covered my bases completely and pulled it out. Okay, we have Duke Salos. They are getting a Lizard or Medusa. No problem. Just get the Medusa down. They will not be filling lanes necessarily, so playing the Lizard away from their Tribunal Path. Ideally, we draw into Eliath. Oh, this is my Medusa. I'm like, what? They have a priority deck? No, they have a Living Tribunal deck. Sasquatch is at five. Hmm. Uh, the Swordmaster actually discards the Sasquatch. Six energy. Uh. I can really only do this? And then hopefully this is enough to gain priority? It is not. Okay. I have eight power. Eight. So. And four. What is the play here? The Sean almost definitely wins there, but do I go with crossbones? Let's go with the tiebreaker. That's fine. 
Let's uh, do it this way. The yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this is, uh, should be a very easy win. Especially getting rid of the black Power hat. Must be controlled. <laughs> Victory! <laughs> Well, you know, my strong suit isn't math, if you've been watching me for a while. But uh, it was, my math was good enough. All right, so you got to see a perfect game. That first game was absolutely perfect. And then you also got to see just some imperfect games. I never drew Scar. I, he, you can clearly see he is in the deck. <laughs> but it's like he's not in the deck because I haven't drawn him for now maybe the past 30 games in a row. I cannot explain it. But anyway, the deck is really about Eliath. It's really about gaining priority and being able to shut down your opponent. If you don't gain priority, you're gonna lose. No deck is perfect. You might lose because we also have Shang-Chi, who if you're not gaining priority, you can just Shang their target. And if you decide to put in Enchantress because you're seeing a ton of ongoing, you can do that as well. And you can also Zola those cards if you leave a lane free. Or if you have Grandmaster, you can Grandmaster them. Thanks to all the members of the channel and everybody who's reached it this deep into the video. It might not even be that deep. It's probably a short video. Let me know what you think of the deck. Let me know if you have success with it. Let me know if it stinks. And let me know if you're having fun with the new mode. Until next time.